Okay, so for the next part of our word study, we're going to do number five, which is the occurrences in the Bible. And you're going to ask the questions, how often does it occur? In which books is it found? Which book is it used most? Where does it, where does the word first appear? And where does it appear first in the book that we're studying? And then which writers use the word? So to find that information, you can use one or two things. Again, you can use your strong coordinates, which is what normally I use. And how you do that is first you, of course, you're going to look for the word. So we're going to flip back to petition. So here we're going to find oops, right here petition. So if you look in your strong coordinates and you go back to petition, the first question that it asks is how often does it occur? So to find that out, you will count the all the scriptures that are listed. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So for petition, you ha it's used 13 times. And then it says, in which books is it found? So to find that, you just go down the row of the scriptures. You have 1 Samuel. First King, Esther, and Daniel. So those are the books that you will list. The next question is, in which book is it used most? So then you can count which one ha is listed the most. So we'll see that it, it's used most in the book of Esther. It is done used three times in Esther chapter 5 twice in Esther chapter 7 and once in Esther chapter 9. So that will be your answer to that. Which book is it used most? It is used most in the book of Esther. The next question is, where does the word first appear? So then you would use the first um, scripture that is listed. So it is first used in 1 Samuel chapter 1 verse 17. And then continuing that, it is where does the word first appear in the book that we're studying? So then we're studying the book of Esther. So it is first used in Esther chapter 5 verse 6. And then which writer is it used? Um, which writer does it use? So to find that I would look up 1 Samuel, 1 King, Esther, and Daniel. And to do that I use my rainbow study bible. So we'll push this up. And then in the Rainbow Study Bible, I use, and it's by Holman, and it's also King James Version. I use most of my study materials all the same. So again, it said 1 Samuel. So I go to 1 Samuel. So when I go to 1 Samuel, I told you I like using this because it lists on each um, book of the Bible. It gives you um, an introduction page. So it, it lists the author at the top. So here it says unknown, possibly Samuel um, with um, excerpts from the, mem uh, the memoirs of Gad and Nathan. So we would put Samuel. And if you continue, it was First Kings. So you go to the front of First Kings. So 
So again, you have the intro page. And then you look and it says, again, unknown, possibly Jeremiah. So we can write down Jeremiah. And again, I like, um, I will do a video on all my study material on how I use it and why. And as you can see here, it gives you, you know, the title, the background, where it's written to whom, keywords, themes. So there's re a lot of reasons why, but that I use um, this Bible. Um, but again, so for the word study, I use it for the author. So the next one after First King, it was Esther. So we flip to Esther. You see, it says unknown, so we wouldn't list anything. And then the next one was Daniel. So let's flip to Daniel. Oops, I passed it. Sorry guys, I didn't mark the page. And this is, there it is, fresh. Okay, so then you have author Daniel. So that's all the, the writers that we would write for that. So again, I get that information from my Holman Rainbow Study Bible. But again, you can use, if you don't have a Bible that listed or a study Bible that lists the authors, you can use, um, just Google who wrote um, the certain, you know, whichever is Bible that is, book of the Bible that is listed. Now to use it on the Blue Letter Bible app or Bible Hub, let's look at Blue Letter Bible app. So the first one was, how often is the word used? So again, we'll go back to the home page and then you will click the word number verse six. Again, you'll use interlinear. Oops, I clicked the wrong one. Okay, you're gonna scroll back down to where it says, what is thy petition? You're going to click it. And if you scroll down, it tells you the King James translation count is 14 times. So the number is a little bit different. And that's because it's in King James version. So the strong concordance is listed, you know, as a whole. But so if you look at the difference, you have the one that's not listed in the strong concordance is judges. But the rest of them are listed. So we have 13 times in the the Bible. In the strong coordinates it lists. And it also lists Job and Psalms. But as you can see it has. It shows request. So that is why it's listed here. But so for the actual word petition. You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10. You have 10 times listed on here. And these, it has, because it shows request, loan, and then request and request. So using that's the only little difference with the Blue Letter Bible app and then the concordance. Um, here the, the Bible app is going to show you in the different forms that it is used. So if you're strictly using the strong concordance, then you would list only 13 times. Um, if you're using the Blue Letter Bible app, it's going to give you a different number. Um, only because it shows it in different form, but they're all this. It's all the same again. So here I'll tell you it is, which occurs 14 times 
uh, 14 times and then the number. So that's how you would use that for that question. So then it says, um, in which books is it found? So again, you would just scroll down and you would list the books of the Bible that are listed in the scriptures. And then you would just make note that petition, it shows request and not petition. So you make a little side note on what those words is for. And then the next one is which one is it first appear? And then here, this one it shows Judges 8, 24. So again, it just shows which, depending on which um, study material you're using. So it may vary just a little bit, but not too much. Um, and then it says, uh, where does it first appear in the book that we're studying? So you would scroll down and you'll see Esther 5 and 6. And then which writers it writes it. So again, I won't, you won't be able to use the Blue Letter Bible app, but you can use, um, you can Google it or if you have a study Bible that can show you. So for number five, those are all the answers um, that you can use either the Strong Concordance or the Blue Letter Bible app. That's how you find that information. So let's go ahead again and write it out on our paper so again we use the using the strong concordance you would count out the verses listed 13 you would use the scriptures the books that are listed the first time it's used first samuel 1 17 the first time it's used in the book we're studying esther 5 6 and then to find out the writers, I use my Rainbow Study Bible or you can use um, Google and search it or if you have a study Bible that lists the information. So now let's go ahead and write it down. Okay, so for number five, we're gonna answer the questions. So number five, you'll write number five. And then the first question was, how often does it occur? So we would write, it occurs In the Bible thirteen times. And this was a going with the strong concordance. Again, it's gonna be a little bit different if using the Blue Letter Bible app because it uses um, the word request. Then the next question was um where does it first appear? So it appeared it first appears In the book of First Samuel, chapter one, verse seventeen. The next question is where does it first appear in the book that we're studying? So it first it is first used in Esther. Chapter 5, verse 6. And then the next question is, um, in which books is it found? So you'd write, it is found in the following books of the bible <laughs> excuse me you guys my allergies so you'll use first samuel first king esther and daniel and then of course on the blue letter bible app you saw that it was um also used in they listed job i mean judges chapter 8 verse 24 
They also listed Job chapter 6 verse 8 and Psalms 106 15. But the word used in it is not petition. It is the word request. But request and petition share the same strong number. So that is why I used um, it a little bit different as far as using a strong concordance. It actually only uses just that word. So the next question is, um, authors who, authors or writers who use this word, which is the authors or writers of the books that we listed. So the author, I write authors who used this word are... And you have Samuel, Jeremiah, and Daniel. And because Esther we is unknown, who wrote Esther? So next, for number six, the next part of our word study, you can see is the root and meaning and the origin. So for this, I use, again, um, the, the dictionary app, or you can just Google it, and when it pops up, the English dictionary, and you type in the word. But let's go ahead and look at that online, or using the Bible app also. Okay, so to find the origin and the root words for it, you're going. I'm going to use, first we're going to look at the dictionary app and then you have the word petition already there so you'll just click it again so it can bring up the information now if you scroll down it gives you some examples and then right here it says the origin so here you have middle english from anglo-french from latin petition petitio from portray to seek, request, or more, or more at feather. So you can use that, or if you Google it, it should match the same thing. So if you go to Google, And you type in English Dictionary. And then you type in the word petition. Once it pops up, again, you're going to just scroll down. And at the very bottom of it, you see it says the origin, Latin, portray, Latin, petite. And it says aimed at sought laid claim to latin petitio and then petition middle english then it has again the definition middle english from latin petitio from petit aimed at sought laid claim to from the verb um portray so then that's what we would use for the origin in Latin word and let's see I hope you guys can see that so again you can use it through Google or if you look on the dictionary it gives the same information so let's go ahead and write it down on our paper okay so under number five you're going to write number six which is the origin and meaning of the word the root meaning so you write number six and then you write origin Latin portray Latin petit aimed aimed at sought laid 
claim to. Latin petitio. Then you have petition middle English. So that is what you write for number six. So, so far again, you have on your paper, you should have number one, petition. Number two, the English um, definition, an appeal or request, especially a um, Solomon or a humble one to a deity or a superior. Um, he, number three is the Hebrew and Greek words. So you have the Hebrew and it's Shayla 7596 or Shayal 7592. Then you have the Greek words, which was 1783 and 1793. Then number four, you'll list all the definitions for those strong numbers. Number five, you have the occurrences in the Bible. So it occurs in the Bible 13 times. It first appears in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 17. It is first used in Esther 5 and 6. It is used... It is found in the following books of the Bible, 1 Samuel, 1 King, Esther, Daniel. Authors who use this word are Samuel, Jeremiah, and Daniel. And then number six, the origin is the Latin, the portray, Latin petit, um, aimed to, sought, laid to claim to, Latin petitio, petition, and then Middle East. So number seven, the next part is... Um, Biblical usage, how was it used in the Bible? So let's go to, let's look at the next okay, part. Okay, so again, the next part is number seven, the biblical usage, how was it used in the Bible? So here you can do one or two things, um, whichever you prefer. If you look at Bible Hub, I mean, I'm sorry, Blue Letter Bible, If you click it, and let's just go back. If you click the word, again, 7596, right here it'll list the outline of biblical usage. A request, thing asked for, demand, request, petition, thing asked for. So you can use um, this section of the um, Blue Letter um, Bible app. Um, for number seven or if you have a study bible or um, any bible that you may be using and if it has extra information on the scripture and we'll see um, if you have extra information on it or say you want to use let's go back here if you go to blue letter bible app and you go let's see we got to go back so if you go to home and you hit number six if you look at the commentaries if you go to text commentaries and you go down a lot of people like to use um david gusick so if you go to the study guide for Esther 5 and you scroll down and you see this is Esther 5, 1 through 5. And then if you go to Esther 5 and 6, what is your petition? It shall be granted to you and what requests up half of the kingdom it shall be done. And it has King Ahasuerus repeated this offer to Queen Esther. It was more a... Uh, proverbial expression than a literal literal offer for anything up to half of the kingdom so again you can use how is it used so if you wanted to write this out you can do that if you have some other notes um that you found or that you're using for your um studies you can use that or again like i said you can just go back hit number six interlinear oops sorry and when you scroll down again 
go to petition. You can use this part where it says the outline in biblical usage. Or again, if you have some notes um, pertaining to that certain verse that you're using in the book that you're studying. Um, or if, again, if you're just using, um, just doing a word, a, just a plain word study on the specific word, then you could use this. So let's go ahead and write down number seven, which is your, um, how is it used in the Bible? Biblical usage. And let's look at that next. Okay, so for number seven, you can write down the biblical usage. So again, on the Blue Letter Bible app, you saw, we're going to write it down. Number seven, it has request. Thing asked for or demand. Then it had a request, petition, then B, thing asked for. Then again, if you uh, said if you didn't want to use that and you had some form of notes that you're using or anything, study guide according to um, the book that you're studying. So for instance, for Esther, I wrote this for number seven. I put the king appears to have retained the same affection for Esther and the same disposition to show her kindness okay so for number seven we're going to write out the biblical usage from what we saw on blue letter bible app so it gave you request thing asked for demand and then it had a request petition and then B thing asked for So again, that's what we saw on the Blue Letter Bible app. And the reason why we're using the Strong's H7596, because in the concordance, that is the number that is used as the main definition. So again, how we get to that information is when you go to your Bible and you hit the verse, the sidebar will pop up. So you'll hit interlinear, you'll scroll down, and you'll go to what is thy petition. And then from there, you continue to scroll down, and then you'll see it says the outline in biblical usage. Now again, like I had said before, if you have some kind of notes or study guide that you're using, here you can also write down, you know, what was said about the verse. So for example, for my notes that I use... I wrote down for number seven, the king appears to have 
retained the same affection for Esther and the same disposition to show her kindness and then the cross reference for that was Esther 5.3 then it says the king was aware that this banquet was not the request that Esther risked her life for again Again, he repeated that he would give her up to half of the kingdom. If that was her desire, and then um, with that, you can see we can see. the Lord was leading was leading her in every every word she said so for number 8 I put the king appears to have retained I mean I'm sorry number 7 the king appears to have retained the same affection for Esther and the same uh, disposition to show her kindness. Example from Esther 5 and 3. The king was aware that this banquet was not the request that Esther risked her life for. Again, he repeated that he would give her up to half of the kingdom if that was her, her desire. So here we assume that Esther still did not feel sure of herself in in the matter in what was going on so therefore we we know that the lord was leading her in everything that she was saying and how she was feeling so again for number seven you can use the blue letter bible app what it was saying or if you're using some kind of notes or bible guide or um, study guide or anything that may go more in depth in that specific verse you can use that also and write them both on your page so number eight is um, the application evaluation. What is God telling you? So let's look into number eight. Okay, so number eight is the conclusion of our um, word study. So number eight is what is God telling you? What are your what have you learned, or how can you apply it to yourself? Now, not all verses is going to speak to you something specifically. But in general, you know, how can that be used or what is God saying in this verse? So for number eight, you write number eight. I wrote, God is saying to me a 
in every situation let him let him lead us let him lead our thoughts words and choices we make pray on it and wait on his guidance So for this word study petition, focusing on the book that we're studying, Esther, and how it was used, I wrote, God is saying to me in every situation, let him lead us, let him lead our thoughts, words, and choices we make, pray on it, and wait on his guidance. Now, number eight, you can write whatever it is that sticks out to you. It does not have to be what I write or what God speaks to me. I encourage everybody to you know, meditate on that scripture or whatever word that you're studying and whatever God leads you to know or understand about this word. It could be a specific situation that you're dealing with or a past situation or something that's around you. You would use this part to hear what God is saying to you uh, regarding this word. So again, that is the the conclusion of the word study. And next, I will show you exactly how it looks on my um, paper. So we'll look at that next. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys what my papers look like instead of writing it on the whiteboard so that you can get a feel of what my complete um, word study looks like um, for, my, for my own personal um, studies. So for petition, you have number one, petition. Then you have the English definition. An appeal or request, especially a solemn or humble one, to a deity or a superior. Then you have the Hebrew and Greek definition. So you have the first one, you have 7596. And then you have 7592. Then for the Greek, you have 1783 and 1793. Then for number four, you write out the definition. So you have 7596, 1 Samuel 17, a petition by implication, a loan, loan petition or request. For 7592, you have to inquire, to request, by extents to demand, ask, counsel on, beg, borrow, lay to charge, consult, demand, desire earnestly, inquire, greet, greet obtain, leave, lend, pray, Request, require, salute, straightly, surely, and wish. And again, remember I said when you look at the parallel in the King James Version, you, it uses petition. But in the ESV, it uses the word wish. So, and then you have the Greek definition. So, 1783, an interview, supplication, intercession, and prayer. And then for 1793, you have to chance upon, confer with, by extents, to entreat in favor or against, deal with, make intercession. So then for number five, you have, it occurs in the Bible 13 times. It first appears in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 1 verse 17. It is first used in Esther chapter 5 verse 6, which is the book that we're studying. It is found in the following books of the Bible, 1 Samuel, 1 King, Esther, and Daniel. It is found most in the book of Esther. Authors who use this word are Samuel, Jeremiah, and Daniel. And I got that from my Rainbow Study Bible. The origin, you can use the dictionary or Google online. Um, it's a Latin portray, a Latin petit, aimed at, sought, laid claim to, Latin petatio, Petition, Middle English, 
And then for number seven, again, I said you can use what's on Blue Letter Bible app where it breaks down the biblical usage. Or if you're using a study guide or any commentaries or anything of that sort, you can write that for number seven. So I wrote, the king appears to have retained the same affection for Esther and the same disposition to show her kindness. Reference Esther 5, 3. The king was aware that this banquet was not the request that Esther risked her life for. Again, he repeated that he would give her up to half of the kingdom if that was her desire. We may assume that Esther still did not feel sure of herself in this matter and that the Lord was leading her in every word she uttered. So number eight, I wrote, God is saying to me in every situation, let let him lead us. Let him lead our thoughts, words, and choices we make. Pray on it and wait on his guidance. So again, this is what my complete word study looks like and how I write it. And then I wanted to show you guys a few. I You can write it this way, just straight up and down numbered. Or... I like using the, I call it the spider web uh, method and, you know, with the word and then you just go around answering all the questions for the word study. So this is the one I did for the word faith. The one I have for the word beauty. And I went to the back to write more information this is the one I have for the word Esther this one I have for the word spoil And then for the word fast. So again, all of these ways, that there is no right or wrong way how to format your word study. Um, this is the guideline that I use for the word study. But you can format it in any way that you like. You can do it this way. You can number it straight down and just answer the questions. Or if you want to use the spider web method, you can use that also. But it's which it's whichever you prefer. And again, you can use I use the strong concordance for my studies. My word studies. I use the strong concordance. Or um, you can use, again, you can use the Blue Letter Bible app. You can use Bible Hub. I use Google Online. And you, if you have a um, dictionary online, you can use also. And then lastly, I use my Rainbow Study Bible to get some more um, information on it and if you also if you have a nelson um, biblical cyclopedic you can also use that to use um, to get small definitions so that concludes our word study today on the word petition i hope you guys um, all enjoyed if you have any questions comments or anything or if you like to get um you know more videos on the blue letter bible app or Bible Hub or anything using the strong concordance, anything, um, leave your comments um, below and let me know and I will get to those videos. But again, this is what my word study looks like. And if nothing else, until next time, you guys have a great day. Bye.